Alright, I'm back. I can't believe I've I can't believe I've gone a week without playing any Okami. Um but yeah, I wanna get into it. <laughs> ready to ready to do this Kusa Village business. That's where we last left off. We're at Kusa Village. The um completely cursed town with its with its uh what am I trying to say with its uh windmill that stopped turning um I think I checked the shop before I quit last time yeah and they had they had some gold dust but I think I could only afford one of them I think I did buy one but they had they had this new weapon too, so I had to get that, of course. That's why I couldn't afford two gold dust, I believe. I'm tempted to go do some fishing just to get money for another gold dust. Honestly, because um, it probably wouldn't take that much fishing to get it done. But um, I'm gonna at least. Uh, do a little looking around the village first. If if there's not really anybody watching watching my stream, I might go ahead and spend some time fishing. Hello, little doggy. This flower bed used to be really pretty, you know. It was full of flowers, all thriving on the fountain water. But then the wind stopped and the water dried up, and now, when I'm watering every day, them every day, I have to get them blooming again. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it done eventually. The flowers were so pretty here, but now it's like it's filled with dead grass. But I'm watering them every day. I have to get them blooming again. Yeah, I can't help you until we, um, you know, it's going to be a while before I can help you. Got to do the whole dungeon first. All right, see, now we're in permanent dog form, unfortunately. Well, you know, the priest of the shrine was gobbled up by that monster. I'm sure that's what stopped the divine wind from blowing. Monsters have been attacking the gale shrine, you see. The strength of the shrine god is growing weaker and weaker. The divine wind used to make the windmill there turn like a charm. But that's not all. Speaking of the priest, Princess Fu Fuse is quite admirable. It's long been their family's duty to protect the shrine, you know. Though all alone now, she still perseveres, shedding nary a tear. It's a shame no one does anything to help her out, don't you think? Anyhow. How much longer is this going to go on? Kusa Village is famous all over for its divine wind. And yet now it's stopped blowing and we're in a terrible mess. The wind is our livelihood, and the air is foul without it. Oh, is there really nothing that can be done? Come to think of it. Oh, come to think of what? A descendant of Nagis is supposed to be here, isn't he? Maybe he'll take care of that monster for us. I'm sure the wind would come back if only that monster was gone. At least I hope so. So there's a lot of stuff we can't really do here um, until we uh, clear the dungeon. Mm, I can't get on with this at all. I'm trying to collect my harvest, you see. But only Mr. Bamboo's baskets can hold enough of it. Have you been to his house yet, pup? He lives here in the village. People come from far and wide to buy his work. He's a real master. But he suddenly stopped making anything. He said he just can't get a hold of any decent bamboo anymore. Hmm, come to think of it. Yeah, come to think of what? Could you come across a slightly ramshackle house at Taka Ta Pass? The old couple there were the last ones to order bamboo ware. Apparently, they suddenly had to have a bird cage made for them. I've always hated animals, so I wonder why they want a pet now. Okay, I wonder if that's what I need to do that part there. I'm not sure. 
I might need to finish this whole area. Okay, not really, not really anything in here. And I can't, I can't use any of my powers. I love this guy. Because he's a he's cool. Um no, can't go in there. Oh my gosh, look at him. This statue looks just like that sleepy bear. In fact its face looks more like a bear than the real thing. What now, a wolf? Another non-paying customer is all I need. That guy who came the other day has been a complete disaster. I let him stay because he claims he's a descendant of Nagi. But he's hardly a monster killer. He sleeps in the woods all day. And he makes an awful noise crying out in his sleep at night. Maybe you could try chasing him off for me. I mean, I could try. He's kind of a jerk. All right, this is a thing I can do something with later, but again, I need my powers. And I currently don't have any powers. Was that another? That was just a regular peach. Never mind. Man, I'm getting a lot of them. Too bad I don't. I'm full up on food. Eek! You're supposed to knock first. Can't you wait until I'm done? I'm a dog, lady. But I'm sorry for intruding on you. <clears throat> All right. So far, I've learned that that there's a princess who needs help, and that not what's his face Susano's here. There he is. There's Susano. Oh, uh, no, no, not that. By the gods, I vow to uh, you won't ever. Uh, it's Susano. He's one tenacious dude. Wonder what he's doing here. I bet he's having a nightmare about getting beat up by monsters. He seems rather frantic. It'd be funny if it weren't so sad. That dream again. Is there no escape? I thought by coming to the village. Hey there, Pops. Floundering around in your dreams, too? Must be nice to be able to nap in the middle of the day like that. Greatest warrior ever, my foot. Huh? Poochie? And little bug? No, uh, uh... <coughs> here to disturb my meditation again? Even in my dreams, I'm hard at work devising strategies for defeating that crimson something or other. I came here to pray for victory at the Gale Shrine, but... Lo and behold, that crimson something or other occupies the shrine. Well, with my invincible sword, there's no need to pray, but... Mankind's fate rests with me. I must be fully prepared. First, I must sit here and come up with a well-thought-out plan. Hmm, now where was I? Plan? Yeah, right. That's just your excuse to sleep. Bah! Can a fella get some sleep? Oh, it's you again. I'm devising a plan to defeat that crimson something or other. I thought I'd pray for victory, but now that I think of it, drinking some of Kushi's sake back in Kamiki would be more effective. Ah, he's not only a coward, but a lush, too. Yeah, he's... He's garbage. All right.
Hey, there's a clover, but I can't do anything with it. There's a hole in the rock, but I can't do anything with it. Um, a lot of stuff I can't do anything with right now. Now, who is this? Ah, uh, what a pickle I'm in. Huh? Oh, what a cute wolf. I'm in a pickle right now, Wolfie. I'm a craftsman, and I work with bamboo, as you can see. But I can't get any work on right... Get any to work on right now. Oh, I shouldn't burden you with my problems, Wolfie. Boy, that must be some big pickle if you're confiding in a wolf. Hello there, little sprite. Here to listen to an old man ramble. I always gathered bamboo over in Sasa Sanctuary in Taka Pass. But I haven't been able to get in there lately. The Sparrow Clan suddenly closed the entrance to Sasa Sanctuary. Oh, how do I wish I could craft my bamboo ware. I'm an old man and it's all I have left. To make matters worse, the festival's just around the corner. I usually sell my work there, but I'm running out of time. Aw, oh, it ain't the end of the world, Gramps. What have we got ourselves mixed up in now, Amy? Um. Wow, that's some major bamboo right there. That Mr. Bamboo really must love his work. Mmm, bamboo. I'll cut that out. You'll get a tummy ache heat and stuff like that. Okay. If you say so. If you say so, my dude. Um... I think we need to go to the shrine now. Can I not get up faster speed? I guess without my power I can't. Oh, there's another clover I think, but can't can't blossom it, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so I think we need to go this way. Yep, this is the way. Oh my god, not being able to go faster is so frustrating. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's really any point. Like, I could go over that way, but I don't think there's anything I can do over there until I get my powers back. Oh. My, uh... Alarm clock was going off. I had planned to allow myself to sleep in a bit, but my body had other ideas today. I can't get that chest without my powers. Ah, it's Princess Fuse. Oh, this is most unfortunate. I have been possessed in a momentary lapse in vigilance, and I was trying so hard to defend this village. Now it shall be reduced to a horrid cursed zone. Alas, my strength, it wanes. All is lost. Hmm. 
Oh no. I gotta fight this thing without any powers. Oh no! I love that the wolf can kick people. Alright. That could have gone a lot worse. For not having any powers. Hmm? Have I been freed from the evil curse? You have saved me, but I do not know how. What the heck happened, sweetness? Oh, are you familiar with my family, the Satomi House? No, I can see now that you are not. Still, you may be of great service to me yet. Will you not listen to what I have to say? You just keep talking, pretty lady. Eason's listening. Oh, thank you. I am Princess Fuse, Priestess of the Gale Shrine. The Gale Shrine stands atop Mount Kamiji. Kazagami, the god of wind, is enshrined there. The wind blowing down from there keeps the monsters away. Known as the Divine Wind, it is venerated as our protector. However, it suddenly stopped blowing one day. And that has allowed the monsters to sneak into our village. Even I, the last remaining priestess here, was nearly slain. That horrible monster is behind all of this. Will you hear the rest of my story? There is only one explanation for why the divine wind stopped. It is that horrible monster, Crimson Helm. The beast now dwells within the Gale Shrine. The monsters in this area have all been under Crimson Helm's control ever since he appeared in Taka Pass 100 years ago. My people, the Satomi House, keepers of the Gale Shrine, have been battling the beast and his minions ever since. But last year, the fiends attacked and killed the head priest while he was weakened by sickness and the Gale Shrine fell into their hands. I remember hearing that story. It was big news in these parts. If only I could vanquish Crimson Helm and free the Gale Shrine. But I am no match for the evil barrier that now bars entry. There is only one hope now. Only the warriors who serve the Satomi House can right this wrong. Our last remaining hope for defeating Crimson Helm is the Satomi Canine Warriors. The Satomi Canine Warriors have protected the Shrine and served the Satomi House for ages, but alas, they are now scattered throughout Nippon. If we could bring them together again, they could break the barrier and retake the Shrine. Really? Why don't you just summon those puppies on back? I have already tried but I've yet to receive any word of their coming. I sense their presence nearby, but I've yet to find them. What if they were attacked and injured, or even worse? I beg you, would you please sniff out their whereabouts? You might find this useful. Canine Tracker. I sense five of the Satomi Canine Warriors here in this village. 
They're a temperamental bunch and don't take kindly to strangers, but they should return to me once they see the canine tracker. The canine tracker will guide you in their direction. Please use it, along with your strength, to find them. Leave it to us, sweetness. We'll get them all back without a scratch. Can't wait to see how she thanks us, Ami. <laughs> okay. So, oh, I guess now we have our powers back, at least to some extent. So we can get some of these. Um. Oh, it's nighttime again. So I don't recall if um, helping her clears the whole main village area. If so, um, I might be able to do more right now than I thought that I could. This might be the way to the Gale Shrine, in which case I might not be able to go very far this way. Hey, more treasure. If I find enough good treasures, maybe I'll be able to buy that other gold dust without needing to go fishing. Clover. That's good. Oh. Hey, is that a monkey? Give him some meat. Yeah, I think this is the path to the Gale Shrine, so I don't know if there's any point in me going this way. Right now. Just yet. Yeah. Gale Shrine. We can't get through that barrier yet. But, as long as we're here, we can talk to the ghost of the head priest. Hey, what's with this guy? I can see right through him. Mm, who are you? How is it you can see me? I am Yatsu, the earthbound spirit who haunts this area. Long has it been since any have ventured this way. I like how he's wearing the, the windmill as a hat. My eyes have failed me. I can no longer see. In their stead, my inner eye can judge a person's true form. You appear to be a maiden most fair. What could possibly bring you to the Gale Shrine? You must leave this place, for it is no longer a shrine of the gods. It is now cursed and under the control of a horrible creature. This is no place for a fair maiden such as you. Fair maiden? He talking about you, Furval? Well, yeah. I'm a frickin' goddess. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. Ha 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 ha. What's this? It appears the maiden is accompanied by a little booger. Is the village to meet its end at last? Little booger? He better not be talking about me. Yeah, he is. You're a, a perv. You're a weird pervert. Mount Kamiji is the sacred mountain overlooking Taka Pass. It is the source of the divine wind which once blew down into the village, keeping the monsters at bay. But the wind stopped the day Crimson Helm took over the shrine. The village is vulnerable to monsters without the Divine Wind. But the Divine Wind was not our only loss. The shrine is home to the Serpent Crystal. It is said to have the power to lift the eight-headed serpent's curse. Serpent Crystal? Wait, that's what that two-bit prophet's looking for. Of course, nobody knows if it truly has such power. Nonetheless, the Gale Shrine is under Crimson Helm's control. You... You done blathering? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okie doke. Let's 
get on out of here, I guess. All right, let's track down some puppos. Some puppo warriors. Puppo warriors. Oh, hello chickens. I have seeds for you. And seeds for these birdies too. Now that I have powers back, I can nip up here and see what's up. Oh, here we go. There's a dude up here. Hello, dude. I didn't think I'd be able to see it. My grandpa said he saw some kind of island floating in the sky. Surely that's impossible. My grandpa said there's a land up there called the Celestial Plain. That's where all the great gods are supposed to live. I don't know, though. It's all a bit far-fetched, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't... It's true. I don't, I don't see anything. But I do see some monkeys who need some meat. See, how are we doing with our with our praise? I'm not sure how much I want to save. I have 200. So I could get more ink. I could also get another um, life. Oh, this guy. I forgot there was one of these guys coming up right up here. Oh, I need a I need a double jump to get up top there, don't I? Yeah, I'll get that. I'll have to get that later. Okay, I'm gonna use my mouse again for this. Aha! I am blockhead. I guard this place so that all shall pass. Uh, wait, I mean none shall pass. Hey, haven't I seen you before? What are you talking about? I am the one and only Blockhead. And those who would claim otherwise are in for it. Are you trying to break through my airtight defense? Ha! Impossible! Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. A clean blow there would slay me in an instant. But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expose such a weakness. Now be on your way. None shall not pass. Um, how do, how do I tackle? I oh, like that. It was like here, 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 here. Alright. Huh? Were my weak points so obvious? I have failed, but let it be known I died a warrior's death. Bullhorn. 
That's cool. <clears throat> All right. That was worth the trip. Oh, God. That was unfortunate. Does that count as a death from falling in water? I might have no... I might have no... Um, I might not, I might have a no godhood level when I when I come back. Oops, that didn't work great. Right. There we go. All right. Yeah, so that cleared the the curse for the most part. There's quite a bit I can do now. Including feed more chickens. Go in here. What's in here? Oh. Who's this? What's a dog doing here? Huh? I think he's trying to say something. Let me listen carefully. I can understand some animals. It's wagging its tail, but it's got that... Oh, bet it's that canine tracker you got there. Hmm? What's that? Give me some food. I'm hungry. Sheesh. We just met and it's begging for food? What terrible manners. Alright. I have some meat. I am full. My master, Princess Fuse, has summoned me. However, I didn't want to go straight home. You hear that, Ami? That means this dog's one of those Satomi canine warriors. Now that my stomach is full, I will return to my master. You hear that, Ami? Yeah, I heard it. Wait, Princess Fus Fuse talked about them. I thought they were human. She called them canine warriors. I don't know if this is a translation bit, but I always thought it was weird because, like, <laughs> she she specifically calls them the canine warriors. Like, I mean, I guess you could, like, I don't know. In given the given this game, I was like, oh yeah, they're they're dogs, but. I don't know. I guess in another sort of fantasy setting, like someone might talk about like the the dragon warriors or the wolf wolf warriors or I don't know. I, I guess I can imagine it being like a just like a the name to describe their order or something. But whenever I played this game, I was like, "What? What are you talking about? They're she's talking about dogs." But anyway, you think these flea bags are going to be any help? I mean, they better be, right? Yay, more meat. I but there was meat. If there was meat right there in that pot, why didn't he just get it? Stupid dog. He had meat right there, and he didn't even know it. Okay. Glass beads. More treasure to sell. Okay, and I need a 
I need the wind power before I can cross over in these things. Check out those big old carp streamers. They must look awesome in a strong wind. Without any wind, they're a rather sorry sight. Yep. Sure are. Oh, pigs. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, actually, I don't think I can. I was going to say I can. What is happening here? Maybe I can fix this now. Because it looks like I have to. I thought I had to bring the water back. Or the water back, the air back. The wind back. Here's the next dog. Give me some food, I'm hungry. Good thing I found some meat with the last guy. They're very demanding. <clears throat> I like this guy, though. Now that my stomach is full, I will return to my master. Hey, little girl. They're out, they're out. The flowers are out. I give them water every day, you know. I'll keep on watering them, too, for as long as it takes. Oh, okay. That's all you got for me, huh? Um, oh, let's, let me sell my stuff. Hey, that gets me the gold dust I need. And let me get some more meat. Okay. Now. To find the rest of the dogs. Uh, okay, so the thing you can do with these things, there's some of these guys all over the world. I don't remember how many. There's a few, though. You color in its other eye, and then it opens, and you get an item. Not much of an item in this case, but... Those are things that... Um, I forget what they're called, but they're a thing in Japanese culture, and um, you, you, you take one when you... They're they're obviously they're not giant they're like little little guys, and you um when you take one you you make like a like a goal for yourself I think is what you do the thing you're gonna try to accomplish and you color in one of its eyes and then you um, keep it until you complete um, that goal and then you color in its other eye when you're finished. I was silly to think here I could come. I was silly to think I could come here alone and... Oh, what am I to do? Maybe I should resign myself to falling in battle. No, the whole meaning of my journey would be for naught. Hey, what's eating you, little lady? <coughs> hey, you're that dog that doesn't knock. 
Yeah, a Matarasu here can be a bad little wolf sometimes. I'm Isun, by the way. Let's hear your story, cutie pie. My name's Haruka. My father was murdered by monsters. I set out on a journey to avenge his death, but I quickly discovered I was no match for such terrible creatures. I had no idea how I'd ever get my revenge. Say, you may be small, but you ride a big wolf. You must be a fearless warrior. Would you go take care of my enemies for me? Look, here are their pictures. <laughs> so, um, now we have a different list of... Uh, another, a second wanted list. Each monster will be marked in the same manner. You'll know them the moment you see them. They are very sneaky and only venture out at night. Please exact my revenge upon these denizens of the night. Leave it to me, little lady. The magnificent Isun's gonna strike down your enemies for you. Um, so... Where can I see that list? No, seriously, where is it? Is it... Oh. It's under the logbook. That's right. Okay, yeah, I had, I had actually, like, totally forgotten that, um... That the uh, the the symbol, the picture next to them, um, represents like at least the basic type of monster it is. So these guys are all imps, <laughs> and these ones are all the the dead dead fish type. Okay. Um. I was just checking on these. Um, we might have to go back to Sasa Sanctuary. So can I actually go in here now? No, now it's just completely closed. Still no one in here. Oh, can't jump over that. Boo. Um... Oh, that's right. Okay, there, there was that wall with the crack in it. I'm trying to think of everything I can check out now. Let's see. Oh. There's that clover, or one of the clovers I found before. Can't forget them. Here's, what are these, are these foxes? Raccoons, or tanukis maybe. Not sure which. I'm actually going to try to look them up in my tome. I'm not sure what they are. These... That's a dog. Monkey. Deer. Raccoon. Okay. Okay. Didn't I also... Oh, there it is. I want to get this before I forget it. And then, yeah, of course. Gotta bomb this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me some food, I'm hungry. How did he get trapped behind a wall? That's the real question with this guy. <sighs> oh, 
Off he goes. Okay. Let me see. Where do I need to go next? Um... Is that three of the guys in the village? How did you get inside a giant stalk of bamboo? What's a dog doing here? That's what I'm asking. Dude, you're inside a giant bamboo stalk, and all you can say is give me some food? I would... There's more important questions here than food. This guy's a real floofy boy. Such floof. Hey, Ami, how many of these canine warriors does this make? Maybe we should go talk to Princess Fusei now. Like, I'm pretty good with Japanese pronunciation, I think, like basic pronunciation. And still, whenever I see, uh, even if I know the name's Japanese, whenever I see a name like that, where it, like the letters spell like an English word, I always want to pronounce it like, like that word. I always want to say fuse. Hey, Ami, that flea bag's giving you the evil eye. I think it noticed that canine tracker you got there. Hmm, what's that? My master, Princess Fuse, has summoned me. But first, I wish to try out the skills I've honed on my journey. You hear that, Ami? Princess Fuse forbids me to join in fruitless battles. But I want you to prove your right to bear the canine tracker. Why, you... You've got a lot of nerve picking a fight with us. Well, bring it on, you flea bag, right, Furball? Pick a fight? No. I don't want to fight a dog. Huh? You're going to run from this flea bag with your tail between your legs? No, I just don't want to fight a nice doggo. This is a butt thou must situation, though. Uh, I guess let's have a fight. Yep, there was only one right answer. I don't know who the sleep bag thinks he is, but he's in for a surprise. I think because I fell, I'm probably going to start with no godhood, which will be annoying. But Oh, no, I do have one level. Damn it. All right, you jerk. What? So that's about enough of that. You are strong doggo, but I am better doggo. 
A worthy opponent, I see. Let us fight where we have more room. You hear that, Ami? Sounds like fun. This time we'll be playing for keeps. Bring it on, Fleabag. We're, you're going to wish you went straight back to Princess Fuse when we're done with you. Hey, wait. If he's been summoned by the princess, then... Maybe this is another one of the Satomi Kanan words. Yeah, no shit, dude. You're an idiot. Obviously. <laughs> I am done toying with you. Now you shall feel the wrath of the Satomi Power Orb. Satomi Power Orb? Ah, bring it on, Dog Breath. We ain't afraid. Oh, Tay! I thought I heard something out here. You two aren't fighting, are you? Huh? Fighting? Oh, uh, of course not. Just some friendly wrestling. Look, not a scratch on either of us. Well, at least now we have five of the Satomi Power Orbs. But you've been naughty doggies. Why did you not come home immediately when I summoned you? Hey, Princess, what's with those Satomi Power Orbs? Each Satomi Canine Warrior bears an orb of a different virtue. The Satomi Power Orbs are the Satomi House's greatest treasure. I need the orb's power to break Crimson Helm's barrier. But the canine warriors never listen when I summon them back. And three of them have yet to be accounted for. I fear something may have happened to them. But there is no one I could send out to help them. Hey, what's with that look, lady? Okay, okay, I get the hint. We'll find the rest of them, too. After all, I said we'd get them all back without a scratch. Wonderful. I'll be forever grateful. I know the general locations of the remaining three canine warriors. I shall mark them on your map. Well, I've already met two of them. You have the canine tracker. They shall return here once you have shown it to them. That is, if they have not been injured or even worse. Please hurry. We must get the power orbs and break the barrier. Are you a wolf? Where were you born? Yeah, come to think of it, where were you born, Ami? Well, I'm a goddess, so... Tardiness is unacceptable. You... <laughs> what a hypocrite. Exactly. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to you again. Can I give you some food? You want some food, doggo? Heck yeah, he does. Just because he didn't demand food doesn't mean he won't take it. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm aware. I haven't gone inside the shrine yet. I don't really remember if there's anything I needed here, though. Nothing much, I guess. Okay. So, man, I wish we had fast travel, but we've got what we've got. Um, Let me see, there might be a thing or two I can do yet here. Um, like I haven't checked in with... Oh wait, isn't that... Isn't that here? No, wait, no, okay. I always get turned around in this spot. 
But this is that is right there where what's his face goes to sleep. So I guess I ha oh hello bird. I guess I have been through this whole this whole area. Oh, and a bot is reminding me I should drink some water, and I am getting kind of thirsty. I really love this mirror um, when you're running around with it, how it like breaks and reforms. I think that looks really cool. <clears throat> uh, let's see, nothing to sell. Let me stock up on more meat. I might as well save. I've been listening to this podcast lately called um, No One Could Know About This, where um, the, the premise is that they're going to play through every single Final Fantasy game and, like, podcast about it. And so they've done Final Fantasy 1, and now they're doing the American Final Fantasy 2. Um, from what I understand, they are planning on eventually going back and doing the real, uh, the Japanese one and 2. But currently they're, they kind of, uh, they kind of really want to get to 7. I guess the whole thing started because one of these, the two people, they're, um, these two friends were was surprised by the fact that that their friend had never played Final Fantasy 7. Um so so they're so they kind of want to get to 7 faster. Um and to be fair, the premise of their show is does not say anything about doing every Final Fantasy in order. Um So anyway, um Anyway, uh, but what was I getting at? Oh yeah, I'm just always astounded by like how much trouble they end up causing themselves just by not saving frequently. <laughs> um, um, I'm trying to remember. I I feel like there might be. I think we can avoid her by sneaking around back here. Oh wait, that's that's not the woman, that's the man. Her? Ha <laughs> what a tasty looking mutt you are. First that sparrow and now a dog. This is going to be quite a feast. <laughs> well then, come on mutt, it's dinner time. Oh god. F off. Um, okay, so things have changed there, but... We need to, we need to go back to Kamiki. We need to go all the frickin' way back to Kamiki. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that first. Get that out of the way. Especially since on my way back... Oh, and somebody wanted, a like, a golden thing, right? Was it this guy? Oh, isn't that one of the famous Kusa pinwheels? My wife asked me to get her one of those, but I've been too scared to go near the place. I don't suppose you'd be able to give me that one, would you? Yeah, dude. Thanks, Fooch. You saved my life. Now I don't have to worry about my wife giving me a wallop. Um... This guy still want fresh fish? Yeah. Uh, no, not right now. But yes, I will. I will do some fishing. Um, and then I'll bring him some fish on the way back. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, hey there. Hey, hey, Revo Flame. How's it going? Um, yeah, I had been, I had been playing Subnautica for a while there. Um, and then I got, I got kind of distracted by other things and stopped and I haven't really been back to it. Um, I'm currently preparing for a move across country, so I haven't really been wanting to get into anything too major, um, in terms of streaming. Um, this is... This Okami uh, that I'm playing right now is one of my favorite games um, ever. So I've already played this game a bunch, so it's not... It doesn't really take the same kind of dedication from me as something new would be. But So I am hoping to go back to Subnautica at some, at some point, but it's not, not on my list at the moment. Okay, thanks for stopping in. Um, does this guy have anything new? Oh, this isn't the right guy. Um, I was thinking of the Demon Fang guy. I don't, I don't think their, I don't think their inventory changes. To get better stuff, I think I'm going to have to wait until I get to another merchant. Uh, yeah, he just has the same stuff. I guess I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having a peace bell. Peace bell does make it a little more convenient to do nighttime treasure hunting. Um, the wood mat is usually not a big deal. Uh, yeah, what the heck, I'll get a peace bell. Uh, that's a little, oops. Uh, the peace bell, incidentally, what it does is it just keeps, it keeps, it keeps the demon scrolls from charging at you at night. Um... So you can kind of pick and choose what what fights to get into. Oh, it's Kushi. I forgot that this would have happened already. Hmm, the water here is so lovely and cool. Now time to get to work. Here's the barrel. Hmm, why looky here? It's Kushi. What's up to you here, sweetie? Oh, it's you, Snowy and Isun. I'm here making preparations for the annual Kamiki Festival. I've come to get water for the holy sake we offer to the gods. People say that the water here at Hitoshio Spring has divine powers. We always mix it with the holy sake we use for the festival. That way we can make eight purification sake. Whoa, hold it right there, sister. Eight purification sake? You mean the sacred drink of ancient legend? That's right. It goes back to the legend of Nagi and Shiranui. It was the miraculous sake that they used to defeat Orochi. Apparently, they got the beast drunk and cut off its heads. It certainly smells strong enough to intoxicate anything. I don't know if the legend's really true or not, but we offer sake to the gods at festival time and pray for peace. By the way, sweetie, I was wondering, you plan on filling this barrel with water? That's right, we need enough for all the villagers, so I have to fill this barrel to the brim. But how are you going to fill such a big barrel with water? And even if you can, how are you going to carry it back to the village? Hmm? That's a good point. I I had thought of that 
I hadn't thought of that because Susano usually takes care of it. He can handle the barrel as if it was as light as a feather. There's no way I can manage on my own, though. How silly of me not to think this through. wonder how I'm going to get the spring water into the barrel. Silly girl. Well, that's rude. Um, well, it's weird that it goes into this view. Um, there is a power I will get later um, to move water around, but I don't have it now, which... So, oops. Let me just walk right past the tunnel. I wonder if there's anything new I can learn at the dojo. I will check. Because there's definitely some stuff I'm ready to be learning. Larnin. Um, yeah, so right, like, so normally at nighttime, um, this guy would charge me, but what is up with this dude now? Can I finally race him? Oh, here we go. Phew, I'm firing on all cylinders again today. So, what do you want? What's with that twinkle in your eye, Pooch? You want a race? Okay, Lightning Ida will give you a run for your money. Or I guess his name's right, Ida, right? Gotta, gotta do that pronunciation right. Ready? Go! <laughs> this guy... These, this guy's a dirty cheater. There we go. Oh, and maybe he doesn't start cheating yet. Later on, he starts, like, dropping things behind him to, like, trip you up. Phew. You caught up with me already? I'd never have guessed it, but you're a real sprinter, Pooch. That's one point for you. <laughs> yeah, there's, like, multiple times you can race him. Um, in different, in different areas in the game. Maybe it isn't until later that he starts, you know, cheating, basically. Um, Alright, I need it to be daytime. Because I need to see if this guy finally has pots ready yet. Here we go. Earthenware is like a mirror into the soul, man. Whatever mood you're in, good or bad, it all comes out in the pots. Check this out, I just finished firing my first piece. My first vase, the Azure Neck. I love flowers. Single flower vases are my specialty. You can have it if you like it. Alright, so what we do with these is we take them to... Um, these little guys. And you get a little, little praise out of the deal. I can't remember how many there are. There's at least a few. Looks like you snatched that vase and took it somewhere. I guess even wolves appreciate fine art. Yeah, yeah, but when do I get another one? I guess I just gotta wait till later. Um. Oh, I was gonna check the dojo. Uh, I'll do it on my way back. Let's just go to Kamiki first. <laughs>
I'm not sure if I... I'm not sure if there's another fruit from Sakuya or not. There might be. Yeah, 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 it's, um, it's what's-his-butt. I'm forgetting that doggo's name. So that means, yeah, it's freaking obvious. He's got the bandana and everything. We're not, we're not dumb, game. How long are you planning to just sit there? You remind me of a certain statue I saw somewhere. Oh yeah, Hayabusa. Is that the canine tracker? Have you come to take me back to my master? You hear that, Ami? You must be on an errand from Princess Fuse if you bear that. But I shall not move from here, for the festival will begin soon. Canine Warrior Chu. You've got to be kidding me. You're one of the Satomi canine warriors? Yeah, he's got the frickin' bandana. And you're ignoring the princess's summons to wait for the festival? Come back here tonight. We need to have a man-to-man -man talk. Man-to-man -man talk? What do you mean dog to wolf? What are you doing over here? Now where did Kushi get to? It's nearly time for the Kamiki Festival. She said she was going to fetch water from... Yeah, yeah, she's getting water, but I can't help her with it. <laughs> sure, dude. Alright, let's go see if... Let's go see if... I can't remember if I had um, done another done another Guardian Sapling or not since the last time I was back here. So I might as well go check. Mm, nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, she's still talking about the Door of Light. Can't turn at night time, so I've kind of just got to kill time. Let me see if I can do this fight fast enough to make something happen. <clears throat> I also don't know if me doing that is um, taking up time. I maybe should try doing it without... Um, Without bothering with uh, any of the slashes, just get the kills in as fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, I haven't ever really gotten faster than like 13 seconds, so I'm going to stop doing the slashes. Nine seconds. Oh, there we go. Hmm, you fight well. I have chosen the path of Buddha, but in you I sense another power. But I see the path you have chosen is also a path of truth. There we go. So I had to get under ten seconds, I think, probably. And I think it, it the, the timer must keep counting even when you stop time to do a drawing. Oh, wait. There was something here I hadn't fed? Excuse me. I thought I had fed everything in the village.
I wish I wasn't just kind of stuck here twiddling my thumbs until nighttime. Oh, more birds I haven't fed. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember if there's any more optional things I haven't done in, in the village, but I think I've done most everything. Oh, there's a, there's a horsey down there. Horsey with a vase inside. Oh my gosh, I almost didn't get to it in time. Would I have just lost it if I hadn't gotten there? I'm not sure. <clears throat> do 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 Those buggers have been fed. I'm going to slice open the giant orange. Just for fun. Yeah. Are there any other... Have I been over to this... This island? Hmm. I don't think I have been. Or if I have, I it either wasn't at night, or I wasn't paying close attention. One or the other. <clears throat> nope, I hadn't gone over here. Okay, cool. I'm glad I didn't just completely sit on my butt waiting for night. Almost night time. Come on, be nighttime already. Oh, there's some more chests I haven't gotten before. But let's deal with Hayabusa first, now that it's nighttime. You bear the canine tracker, so you must know what it decrees. Men settle their differences at night, man to man, fist to fist. Man to man? Fist to fist? Don't you mean dog to wolf, paw to paw? You gonna let this punk talk to you like that, Ami? I guess I'll fight him. You really can't say no to a fight, can you? Well, not when I'm forced into a fight. Let's show what it means to be the new hole-digging king, queen. Amaterasu is a queen.
I forgot about getting stuck in the holes. That's annoying. What if I do this? Okay, no. I was thinking, like, maybe I can fill it in. I was trying to ink bullet in, but it didn't, didn't seem to be working. <coughs> liked, but got the job done. Okay, you've got some explaining to do, Fleabag. Why are you ignoring the princess's summons to wait for the festival? I am not the real Hayabusa. The real Hayabusa died, along with Mushi's father, when they were attacked by monsters deep in the forest. I happened to pass by about that time, but I was too late. Right before Hayabusa died, she begged me to protect Mushi. She foretold the coming of an evil arrow from the sky. <coughs> an arrow that would kill Mushi on the night of the full moon. That is how I came to live here in this village. I have been waiting for the full moon of the festival season. Nobody noticed I was not the real Hayabusa, as we are the same breed. The night of the full moon draws near. I shall not move from here. My duty is to fulfill Hayabusa's dying wish. I must protect Mushi. Loyalty orb. We got a Satomi power orb, Ami. What was all that she said, uh, said Hayabusa foretold? Something or other about an arrow that would kill Mushi? That's not a very happy story for such a festive season. Yeah, it's a festival where a maiden is sacrificed to an eight-headed dragon god. Like, of course it's not. Like, it's not a happy festival. I hope it's not related to that legend about Orochi and the arrow. I mean, I guess it would have probably been treated as a happy festival, like, ever since Orochi was stopped, but... Okay. Um, let's see. So, one of the other ones is, of course, the dog... Oh! Those, those other chests I noticed in the water. Let's get those. Um, the other one is, of course, the dog of... Uh, what's his face? The kid in the forest? So... Some glass beads. And a rabbit statue. So, we'll head back toward the forest. Although first, I'm going to go to the dojo and um, and do some fishing. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I guess when I go to do some fishing, I will be. Um, finding that kid and his dog, so. <clears throat> and I don't 100% remember where the third one is. I mean, I guess we've got this map. Um, or this map. Um... So yeah, so Agatha Forest is south of here, and then the other one, I 
think that's I think that's Sasa Sanctuary. Okay, so we'll have to we'll have to regain entrance to Sasa Sasa Sanctuary. Which I did think was a part of this, so I'm not that's not a surprise. Um Let's check with this guy. Nope, he still doesn't have anything new. You must have to I must have to progress the story further to to get him to unlock more stuff. I still haven't decided if I want to grind money in order to be able to pee on enemies. I mean, like, kinda. Kinda I would like to do that. Am I going the right way? No. I'm going literally the opposite way. Here we go. I really cannot wait for fast travel and night making power and getting the artifact that lets me run on water. Pen. Here we go. Okay. So. Oh, there he is. There's our bear. I love this guy. This guy's so great. Isn't this that bear that was sleeping back in Hana Valley? Man, he's still sleeping? Let's call him Sleepy. This bear is the true hero of the world. Newly dubbed Sleepy. That's one happy bear. Seems he really likes spheres. He sure does. Hey, that's animal abuse. No, no complaints about me doing that, though. Oops. Oh. Um, yeah, what can I do with this, with the bear? And do I want to bother? Um, the bear's a little bit of a pain in the butt. You can bring him spheres, but he is up there. So, like, this requires, like, rolling a ball up a hill and like the controls are a little touchy and there's a cliff <laughs> so it's like mm, I don't know it's a, it's a pain this one isn't too bad oh god this one isn't too bad if I remember right because it starts fairly close to where you need to get it. But um, there's one later that is, is more of a pain in the butt. But <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> Love the expressions on that bear. Finally! Oh, you better gotta be kidding me. He went back to sleep. Boy, I sure wish I could sleep like that. What, balanced standing up on a ball? I mean, it's, it's impressive. It's an impressive feat. Feat of sleeping prowess. Um, I can't remember if we had already found... One of the other uh, balls we could bring in. I feel like I did, but um, 
I don't recall where it was now, for sure. Hi there, Wolfie. Have you seen my son, Kokari? He's totally obsessed with fishing lately. But I'm worried he's not respecting nature like he should. Um, yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Probably. He's probably fine. Um... Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's another one. I guess I'm going to try to do it, because why not? The things I will do for a bear. I don't want to speak too soon. I did feel like that first one was easier than I remember it being when I played this game before. Maybe they made these things not, not quite so... Um, oh, what do I want to say? So loose in how they move. I remember, I remember feeling like one slightly wrong push and it would just go flying off. And I don't feel like it has quite as much tendency to roll down, back down the hill either, so. That's making it a little easier to handle. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Finally! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, he went back to sleep! Yep. Best bear. Best bear. Alright, let's go... Let's go find our boy. Oh, it's not over here anymore. <sighs> Where's that boy? Hey, boy. Boy! There he is. Oh, it's you again. Hey, have you seen my dog, Ume? He's always with me when I'm fishing. He disappeared while I wasn't looking. You don't think he could have fallen into the deep abyss, do you? Like, probably. Water in the deep abyss has always been a bit murky. But today you can barely see into it and the surface is all ripply. My fisherman's intuition tells me the legendary fish has awoken. People call it Whopper. They say it is a burger from a fast food restaurant that some people seem to like. They say it swallowed the moon reflected on the water's surface. You don't think Whopper swallowed up Ume too, do you? Well, I can't find him alone. Maybe I'll go talk to that lady who's visiting Hitoshio Spring. Um, I mean, I guess. We could just try to fish him up. 
But if you want me to go talk to Kushi, I don't, I don't mind talking to Kushi. Kushi's a nice lady. And this is not, oh no, this is the right way. Okay. What's up, Kushi? How silly of me not to think this through. I wonder how I'm going to get the spring water into the barrel. Yeah, but, um, what? Why? How? But, what? Okay, maybe I have to do this... Maybe I have to do, um... Maybe Ume is the... I have to do Ume last. I'll go see if I can do the next one. We'll go back to Taka Pass. And, oh, especially now that it's night, if I can get there in time, I can, uh, I can see about, um, rescuing the Sparrow Girl. All right, right down here. And then, oh, actually I don't, that was just to create the hole for the moon to shine through. We actually can just come in the front door at night. Hey, what are you doing back here again, mutt? You've got some nerve coming into people's houses like this. You wouldn't even make a decent snack, you scrawny mongrel. My husband's caught, caught a nice, tasty beast for us to feast on anyway. When it's finally stopped tweeting, we can dig in. Hey, <laughs> I can hardly wait. Moon's very bright again tonight, isn't it? Moonlight can be a real nuisance for us, you know. It seems to give us strange powers and makes us show our true colors. So it makes it hard to keep up a pretense of normal life. And we get so hungry on nights like that, too. <laughs> ah! You saw me! You saw me! Uh, where'd that shadow come from? It ain't human, whatever it is. So you saw me. Now I'm going to kill you. I'm going to eat you all up. Bring it on, you spooks. Come out and fight. <laughs> oh my god, this is literally the first time I've noticed that they had, like, clippers for hair and a beard or, or a mustache. Respectively. I've played this game so many times and I never saw that. That's so cool. How about you get out of the air and let me kick your butts? Uh, let's just try cutting them. Nope. That is not the way to get their demon fangs. Oh well, they still dead. That was an easy fight. What is this? Oh, it was so awful being locked away by those monsters. It feels wonderful to be free again. Thanks so much, doggy. Here, let me pay you. Aw, 
she's a sweet girl. My name's Chun, precious flower of the Sparrow Inn. Is this the girl the boss of the Sparrow Inn was looking for? I'd better get home, otherwise Pop will be worried about me. But if I go alone, those monsters might catch me again. Would you come back to Sasa Sanc Come with me back to Sasa Sanctuary, doggy? Ah, uh, Sprat's a handful. Oh well, let's hang with her for a bit. Stupid. Why, you little? Come on, doggy. Let's go. Oh no. Okay, so she just comes with me. Okay. I was like, oh, is this a freaking? Am I misremembering? And this is essentially a. Essentially a. Escort mission, but now she's. She basically follows you. Yeah, I, I've been here before. Ami, I mean, isn't this the place that Mr. Bamboo mentioned? He said he couldn't get any bamboo to make his bamboo wear. Well, yeah, because they wouldn't let him in because Chun was missing. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, you, Scruffy, what are you doing in Sasa Sanctuary? The whole Spiro tribe is on high alert at the moment. No one gets through this gate until the boss's daughter's found. Huh? J June? Hi, I'm back. June, are you okay? Boss, boss, she's back. June's back. I love this guy, too. This guy's great. Pop, pop. I'm sorry, Pop. I won't go out on my own again. Uh-oh. The boss is... delighted. You sure about that? This white doggy saved me, Pop. You'll give him something to... I'm not a him. I'm a goddess. You'll give him something to thank him, won't you? The boss has accepted you. You're lucky. Okay, then. You'd better come inside. Heck yeah. Ooh. What a fancy box. Oh, a stray bead. Um... Did I already? Oh, okay. It was just right there. Uh, yeah. Let's save the game. Yeah, I'm... I, I always... I kind of obsessively save my game. Um... Okay, it's Sasa Sanctuary. And it's daytime again? Is that what that was? Is that what just happened there? Hey, birdos. Normal birdos. Have some seeds. All right. I don't remember if there's a shop in here or anything. I might have to go find a shop for more for more seeds. Welcome to Sparrow Inn. I'm a hostess here. Let us know if there's anything you need. Uh, 
Uh, that's another month in the red. It's bad enough not having guests, but closing the place? <laughs> welcome! This is Sasa Sanctuary's long-running Sparrow Inn. Yes, welcome. You're the one who rescued Yon Chun, aren't you? There was chaos here for a while when she suddenly vanished like that. Thank goodness she's safe now. Oh yes, thank goodness. Oh, are these... Rats? Mice? I'm out of seeds now. Um... Oh, that's the elevator. I don't remember what all there is. Oh boy, what all there is to find here. We've been waiting for you. You did a great job finding Chun. We want to thank you, too. When I told Pop about everything you did, he was really surprised. Weren't you, Pop? Uh-oh. The boss is very impressed with you. We want to give you everything in these baskets as a reward. You can rest at the inn down below. And the hot spring behind the inn is great for relaxing. Treasure. Exorcism slip. Meh. Oop. Meh. <laughs> Excuse me. Coral. Great. Coral's good. Holy bone ass. Meh. Wooden bear. That's okay. Traveler's charm. Eh. Glass feeds, pretty good. Oh, I'm on the wrong button. Sake, eh. Dragonfly bead, pretty good. Am I going to get anything I haven't gotten before? Steel fist sake. Nope. I mean, pretty good haul, but not a single, like... Like, new item. Oh, well. That's fine. Is there anything else to do in here? I don't think so. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So... There's a few rooms we can go into. What a beautifully kept shamisen. Boy, I'd love to hear a song or two from this baby. Oh, yeah? Well, no. Um, I think there's a thing worth checking out in one or two of the... in one or two of these rooms. Like, obviously that previous one didn't really have anything. It's him! It's got to be him! You consumed Sasa dumplings. Whoa, now there are wolves serving here? Yeah, this sure is a strange inn, but the food is just great. Maybe I'm dreaming. I mean, an inn run by sparrows? When I was just a girl, a hunter came to my aid when I was injured. I never imagined the same hunter would be staying here as a guest. I must make sure he has everything he wants. Everything! Oh. Hey, there's a koto here. wonder whose it is. Oh, fish. Let me just let me just eat like all of this guy's food. He 
even though I have a com I have completely full pouches at the moment. So it's probably kind of a waste. <laughs> Okay, and then there's two rooms on the other side. Ah, it is you, isn't it? You're the one who rescued Chun. Tell me, did you have to fight anyone? Was there a big battle? What kind of monsters did you have to fight? Tell me everything. Oh, dang. More mice, but I can't, I can't feed them. Oh wait, oh wait, you can mix up some of the food. You can give things. I gave them meat, and it worked. Cool. All I didn't want to have to leave and come back just to feed two mice. <laughs> Man, sure finding a bunch of new food that I don't need. Oh, it's a merchant. Will he will he sell to me? Okay. Oh cool, he will. Good deal. Well first let's sell off all the stuff we got. Alright, that's pretty good. And now let me load up on some some stuff some items there's a board game here but it doesn't look like it's been used that looks like the world's smallest go board It's like on a five by five grid. Anywho. Oh. Oh, stray bead. Heck yeah. Okay, so I've gone in those places. I need to go back into the hot spring area now. Um, I need to go to the bathroom first before I go too much further and refill my water. So I'm going to pause for a moment and set, uh, go into break mode, but I will be back shortly.
Okay, I'm back now. I might be calling this game quits soon, though, to play some um, co-op Stardew Valley soon. Um, but I am considering uh, switching over and streaming that. But we'll see. I haven't decided yet. Um, for now, I'm going to try to do a little bit more before before we get started on that. Um, I believe there's a couple, there's like a key thing we're about to learn here. We're about to get the power to of a uh, water spout, I think it's called, something like that. Uh, excuse me, wait a minute, please. This is Soft's bathhouse, Sparrowin's famous natural hot spring. But I'm afraid the water's run out. We're closed at the moment. What do you mean there's no hot water? This is a hot spring, ain't it? It happened the other day. There was a sort of earthquake. I thought I heard a monster roar. Then the water just stopped flowing all of a sudden. Earthquake and a monster roar? wonder if it was that disturbance where everything went black. Ever since then, I've been praying for the water to return. But it's not showing any signs of springing up again. Never before in the history of Sasa Bathhouse has this happened. I'm sorry you've come all this way only to be disappointed. I blame myself. I must beat myself with my own fried drumsticks. Hey, cut that out! We hate taking baths anyway. Please, start again. I prayed and prayed and prayed, but the water still won't flow. This is it, the end of Sasa Bathhouse. It's dried up now. What would my ancestors think? Beating myself with my own fried drumsticks will be a fitting end. I already told you, we don't take baths, right, Furball? Oh, the smell of this bamboo sure brings back memories. The bamboo from Sasa Sanctuary smells like no other. I can't wait to get started making my bamboo wear. I must finish in time for the festival. Hey, it's the old bamboo dude. Oh, hello, Wolfie, little sprite. Thank you for all your help. Ever since you found the Sparrow Boss's missing daughter, entry to Sasa Sanctuary is possible again. I wish I could thank you somehow. Is there anything... Is there something you're having trouble with? Trouble? Nah. But that Sparrow over there seems to have a problem. Oh, what's wrong, little sparrow? Please, leave me alone. I have to put things right. I won't set a bad example for the others. If I sacrifice my flesh to the gods, they will revive the spring. Here we go again. You wish to revive this dried-up hot spring? I may be of some assistance in that case. What was that? This bamboo tube on my back reacts to underground minerals. I should be able to easily detect where the hot spring water is. You sure about that, Gramps? Yep, my bamboo wear never lies. First, I'll need some help. Now be a good wolfie and dig me a hole. It'll be fun, like a game. Yeah. I don't love this mini game, but it's okay. Very well, I'll explain the hot spring digging game. When the game begins, I'll start walking around. Your job is to rapidly dig so I can di get deep in the ground. But be careful, many dangers lurk underground. I'll focus on walking, so I won't be able to avoid danger. And if I get hurt too badly, I won't be able to play anymore. But if I'm able to get deep underground, I'll show you where the hot spring water will bubble up. Shall I explain it again? No. That, that explanation also makes zero sense until you actually start doing it. It's like a, it's a side-scrolling minigame. Yeah, here we go. Here's an explanation that actually makes sense. Um, yeah, you have to use your, your powers and... Um, yeah, your powers to, to get him to the bottom. Um... Because you don't want to let him, you don't want to let him get in trouble. And we don't 
have a lot of powers yet, so we can't totally... Oh, and there's also a time limit. The time limit is possibly the most annoying thing. Um, yeah, and we don't, we don't have all the techniques uh, that we need to do everything, but I'm sure they won't have things in this one that require techniques we don't have. And I hate I hate that time keeps passing even um even even god damn it. That's what I really hate. Um oh nope, they do have spots that would have us using techniques we don't have. So that's super cool. Oh, I can't even get to that, so. Damn it. I am not doing well. Can I just restart this? Yeah, let's start over. through this um, dig here can I dig through this one cut there oh turn you around no I said turn around thank you get some of that slice through those Slice that. Oh, shit. I'm out of... Damn it. Ugh, it's taking too long to recover. Oh, good. Um... Yeah. Yeah, there's better ways to deal with the water ones, but not at the moment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're about to get the power that would let us better be able to deal with the little water water blocks. Water! Water! The water's flowing again. See? I told you. My bamboo wear never lies. Well done, Ami. Thank you, both of you. I'll never forget this. You both have free access to the bathhouse whenever you want. Yeah, I already had that. I already had free access to the bathhouse. Oh, I'll dance the hot spring hop forevermore. Look, Ami, it's happening again. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good, and mother to us all. I have remained hidden here, creeping along the water's surface. I, Nuragami, god of water, am happy to bestow upon you my power. 
moisten the thirsty earth and restore the glory of nature. Nuragami, oh, that's the god of water. That must mean you got the water sprout, the water spout brush technique. Ouch, hot, hot, hot. Fire, I'm on fire. You're right next to a pond, dude. Just frickin' jump in. No, the fried drumsticks were a bad idea. Lucky for you, Ami needs some practice. Ami, try to put out that fire with the power of water spout. Water spout is a brush technique that harnesses the power of water. Place your brush over water and then draw a line. Water's power will pass into the line, creating a stream. But enough talk. You better try it before he becomes a crispy critter. You're right next to a pool. Just jump in. Excellent. No fried sparrow for you, but at least you can make a stream. But the power of water spout doesn't stop there. See that bubbling water in the middle of the hot spring? That's called a power spring. Water power is concentrated there. If you draw a line straight up from that bubbling water, I bet you can create an amazing column of water. That's what I'm talking about. Now you can control power springs. Hey, I didn't know you could do that. Maybe we could use this to find treasure in high places. Let's draw a water column whenever we see a power spring. Boop, 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 boop. Alrighty. I put everything I have into my bamboo ware. Perhaps I could once again help others someday. I must go get some bamboo from the thicket deep within the sanctuary. And that means I'll have to go through that gate. But the gate won't open in the large until this large bamboo tube sounds. And who knows when that will happen. I'll just have to wait patiently. Well, dude, I can make that happen for you. Hooray, the gate to the bamboo thicket opened. But I think I'll take a break in the hot spring while I'm here. He's not even going to go in there. Alright, fine. It's not, it's not like I wanted you to or anything. Um... Okay, do I need to go in there? Now, anyway? I don't recall. I don't think I really do. But there's some animals I can feed. So, I will do that. Nothing wrong with feeding some animals. Um, what's with this big guy? Tweet! Tweet! Whoa, get a load of Tweety here. Hey, what's with all the chirping, kid? Don't call me kid. I have a name, you know. It's Ty. And I'm not chirping. I'm crying. Tweet! Tweet! Cry baby Ty. Oh, you're crying. So what's with that freaky cry of yours? 
Take is lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. Tweet, tweet. Oh, this is the other dog I need to find. That's what I forgot about. Who's Take? Is he a friend of yours? He's my dog. I lost my dog. Tweet, tweet. Yep, there's our canine tracker. Oh, the canine tracker suddenly appeared. That was mean. I really want to jump over the fence. Hello, hello, big tigers. Have some meat. Big tigers have many preys. Hmm? See what I see, Yami? Unless I'm hallucinating or something. That bamboo over there looks like it's flashing. Maybe we'll find something interesting inside if we cut it down. You never know. I don't... Bingo! What's a dog doing in there? Well, I mean, we found a dog in another one before. Tweet? So Take! Take's back! Take? What's wrong, boy? Why are you growling? Tweet? Wait a minute. Was it this white wolf who spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Hey, wait. I think this flea bag's trying to say something. White Wolf, what right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and prove that you are worthy. You hear that, Ami? This must be one of the canine warriors. That canine tracker really set him off. What'll it be, Ami? Yeah, I'll fight the dog. Yeah, I'm going to come play with you in just a minute, Dina. You know? I need to finish this and then save. I just need to beat up a dog. That dog was easy peasy. Cut it out. Leave him alone. I won't allow you to bully Taki like that. Keep it up and I'll clobber you. Wait a sec, Tweety. We're not bullying anybody. Right, you flea bag? Come on, say something. I know Princess Fuse summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm, defiler of the Gale Shrine. But I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun Sasa Sanctuary without me. And the Sparrow Tribe, they would all be... Oh, what shall I do? Duty Orb. What's this? The Power Orb has chosen you. I need worry no longer. I shall remain here and battle the monsters for the Sparrow Tribe. Even separated, the hearts of the canine warriors beat as one. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, we're 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 good. We're good to go. Oh, more tigers to feed. What? Wrong wrong food. Okay, I I need to head back to the save point.
and then I'm going to quit to play some some uh, Stardew Valley. And I think I'm just going to play. Uh, my voice is getting a little... My throat's getting a little scratchy, so... I mean, I'm going to be talking anyway while I play that, but... I don't want to feel extra obligated to talk like I would if I was on stream, so... So all we have left is to find Ume. Oh. Ah, what a fabulous hot spring. Wolfie, I heard a ruckus from afar, but... Why don't you wash off all that grime in the hot spring? Hot spring? I think we'll pass. Anyway, isn't it about time you start looking for bamboo? Oh, you're right. The festival's just around the corner. It falls on the night of the full moon. The night of the full moon? Yep, Kamiki Village holds the Kamiki Festival on the night of the full moon during this time of year. You've heard the legend of how the great heroes Nagi and Shiranui defeated the terrible beast with the help of the gods, haven't you? That's why the village pays homage to the gods and the sacred tree. This year is the 100th anniversary of the beast's defeat. I'd better finish that bamboo where I want to sell at the festival. Hot dog, I just love festivals. I gotta remember to go back to Kamiki Village on that day. Oh, and by the way, Wolfie... I'd like to give you a little something to thank you for your help in the hot spring digging game. It isn't much, but you may find it useful. Here you go. Mermaid coin. Thanks, Gramps. Wow, that's some grubby pocket change. There are many small springs known as mermaid springs across Nippon. They say you can pass between them by tossing in one of those coins. If true, you could travel across Nippon in the blink of an eye. Really? Those are some wicked coins. They must be extremely valuable. No, not really. You can even buy them at stores around here. I only kept it because it was kind of cute. I don't have much, so you'll have to excuse me. Yeah, it's been a hundred years. But I always think of Kaguya when I talk about the moon. Oh, how she used to love gazing up at the moon. There I go again, reminiscing about the past. I'll end up in the poorhouse if I don't finish my bamboo wear soon. Um, yeah, so we can use the mermaid springs for fast travel now. But they're not the fast travel um, that I'm really looking forward to getting. <laughs> That'll come later Uh, but the mermaid coins are handy, too. But for now, I'm going to save the game. We have one... One canine friend left to find. And that will... We'll do that next time. Next time I, I stream. Uh, Alright, so... Uh, thanks for watching, anyone who watched, and anyone who watches in the future. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.